Hey, this is Medicosis Perfect Nails one more time. Today we'll talk about Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome. What happens when you have thiamine deficiency, also known as vitamin B1 deficiency? By the way, vitamin B1 is a water soluble vitamin. Please watch my previous videos in this great playlist called Biochemistry. I hope by now it's clear that Wernicke's aphasia is not the same thing as Wernicke's encephalopathy, also known as Wernicke's disease. Please watch my previous video, I had a comparison between the two. What we care about when we talk about wernicke korsakoff syndrome is Wernicke's encephalopathy, aka Wernicke's disease. You know that wernicke korsakoff syndrome is a combination between Wernicke's encephalopathy, not aphasia, plus Korsakoff syndrome. All of you know that, but what you do not know is that Wernicke's encephalopathy is kind of an acute condition, Korsakoff is more of a chronic condition. This is a tiny distinction, most people do not know that, it's kind of true. Now, Wernicke's encephalopathy is not a problem in Area 22, this is Wernicke's aphasia. That's a stupid mistake from me, so I'm telling you there is a difference and I made the same mistake. Horrible stuff. Wernicke's encephalopathy has nothing to do with Area 22. So what is Wernicke's encephalopathy? Basically, you have thiamine deficiency, which will get you a triad of ophthalmoplegia, gait ataxia, and global confusion. This is called Wernicke's encephalopathy, a famous triad. If it's not treated and you leave it chronically, it will lead to something called Korsakoff syndrome. And we've talked about the great scientist Korsakoff before, so watch my previous videos. When you have thiamine deficiency, this can lead to amnesia. Why amnesia? Because it affects your mammillary bodies. And your mammillary bodies are part of your limbic system, which is connected to the hippocampus. And of course, hippocampus is responsible for memory. What's going to happen to you when you lose memory? Confabulation. You'll start making up stuff. We have talked about thiamine before, and we know that thiamine pyrophosphate is important for us, and it's important for dehydrogenase enzymes, such as pyruvate dehydrogenase, alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, branched-chain alpha-ketoacid dehydrogenase, transketolase, and 2-hydroxyphenatol coa -lide. Who named these things? Glucose goes into glycolysis to become pyruvate. Pyruvate has four options, either to be acyl-CoA, like normal people, and go into Krebs cycle, thank you so much, so that we can have energy and survive, or it can lead to, it can go astray to the lactic acid pathway leading to lactic acidosis, which will cause HAGMA, high anion gap metabolic acidosis, or it can become oxaloacetate. This is going to help us in free fatty acid synthesis and gluconeogenesis. It can also go to alanine thanks to the alanine transaminase. In order for the nice pyruvate to become acyl-CoA and go into the Krebs cycle, we need something called pyruvate dehydrogenase. This enzyme needs a cofactor called vitamin B1 or thiamine. If you are thiamine deficient, there is no pyruvate dehydrogenase. Forget it, acyl-CoA is not going to happen. You'll not get any energy from the ATP or from the electron transport chain. What you have then is to be converted into lactic acid, leading to lactic acidosis, which is HAGMA. And of course, high anion gap metabolic acidosis is going to inhibit your synaptic neuronal transmission and you'll become tired, lethargic, confused, and maybe comatosed. Causes of thiamine deficiency, chronic alcoholism, severe malnutrition, dietary deficiency, prolonged vomiting, mercury poisoning, extreme dieting, or folate deficiency. Wernicke's encephalopathy, thiamine deficiency in alcoholics or people who are malnourished could be starvation, renal dialysis, cancer patients, or HIV AIDS. Ophthalmoplasia, gait ataxia, and the global confusion. This is the famous triad of Wernicke's aphasia. What do you mean by ophthalmoplasia? I mean horizontal nystagmus on lateral gaze. This is, by the way, cranial nerve number six. Let me do the six. Yeah, I think this is the six. Roman numerals are only good for coagulation factors, cranial nerves, and the Super Bowl, and maybe the name of some kings in the past. That's about it. Global confusion, maybe. Uh, disorientation, indifference, stupor, and coma ambilopia or lazy eye. It can accompany Korsakoff syndrome. Now we call it Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome. What is Korsakoff alone? It's memory loss, confabulation, disoriented temporal sequencing. Here is part of your limbic system. This is the mammillary body. We have medial and lateral. We have two bodies, by the way. Here's your hippocampus for memory baby. Here's the thalamus, a relay station for all of the sensations that are coming from the nice spinal cord. Up, 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 and into the cortex. That's why we call them spinothalamic tracts, because they reach the thalamus, they pass through the thalamus. 
What is Korsakoff syndrome? Thiamine deficiency. There is damage to mammillary body, medial dorsal nucleus of the thalamus, anterior group of thalamic nuclei. You get seven symptoms. Three amnesias, confabulation, apathy, lack of insight, minimal content. How do you treat Wernicke's encephalopathy? How do you treat Korsakoff syndrome? Same thing. IV thiamine, which is vitamin B1, hydration and nutrition. Nutrition should include glucose. But thiamine first, glucose second. Again, please, because this can kill the patient. Thiamine first, glucose second. Here's the famous triad of Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome of thalmoplegia, ataxia, and confusion. Any patient who comes to the emergency department with acute mental status change and you do not know the cause, give Narcan, dextrose, thiamine for everyone. For acute mental status change of unknown etiology, Narcan, dextrose, thiamine for you and me. Any patient who you just suspect that might be an alcoholic, you should give thiamine before glucose. So you're always telling us to give thiamine first and glucose next. What's going to happen if I give glucose before the thiamine? I mean, get your head out of your sink. I'll tell you what's going to happen. Glucose is going to become pyruvate. Pyruvate normally should become acyl-CoA if you have thiamine. But you do not have thiamine. So please block this pathway. So now we cannot make energy. We already know that. But if you give glucose before thiamine, glucose is going to go up. Which means pyruvate is going to go up. But we cannot go through this pathway, so all of the pyruvate will become lactate. By giving glucose before thiamine, you're increasing lactic acid, you fool. And when you increase lactic acid, what's going to happen? Lactic acidosis, fool. And when you increase lactic acidosis, what's going to happen? High anion gap metabolic acidosis is stupid. If you lead to high anion gap metabolic acidosis, this will inhibit that synaptic transmission, which will lead to the famous triad of ophthalmoplasia, gait ataxia, global confusion. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? You give thiamine first and then glucose, honey. Please. Wernicke Korsakoff is a triad of ophthalmoplegia, gait ataxia, and global confusion. Also, there could be some peripheral neuropathy, hypothermia, and cardiovascular signs. How do you treat it? IV thiamine? Why IV? Why not like oral tablets? Shut up. The patient is dying. He is in acute mental status changes. So, you, of course, you give IV thiamine. Get your head out of your anatomical sphincter. Hydration and nutrition, including glucose slash dextrose, they are the same thing. But thiamine first to prevent lactic acidosis. Please go to my website and get my antibiotics course. It's a series of 40 lectures, 70 questions, 35 cases, PON, which is Perfectionist Ultimate Notebook and a Mind Map. Use the promo code ANTIBIOTICS60 to get 60% discount because the 70% discount is over because it was only for 25 students. This 60% discount is only for 25 students. Please hurry up. Thank you so much in advance. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, and click on the join button to join the Medicosis tribe. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.